Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2018 Nissan Titan Platinum Reserve. This vehicle features a 5.6 liter V8 engine with four wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax and it has had two previous owners. As we get closer to the front of the vehicle, you'll notice it is a sleek and beautiful cayenne red with chroma black accents as you'll be able to see there on the grill as well as down around those tow hooks and fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along to the side here and take a look at your wheels. This vehicle comes with dark chrome, 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels and as for your tire treads, you've got a significant amount of their life left but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. I'll point out over here on your mirror caps, you do have your turn signal indicator integrated into those. And coming around on the inside of the mirror, you do have your blind spot indicator, which will light up if there's anybody in your blind spot, helping you to drive just a little bit safer. And I'd also like to point out that these mirrors are heated, which will help to prevent them from fogging up, and it will also help to de-ice them in inclement weather. We'll take a look over here at your handle, because over here, if you see a little rectangle, that is your passive keyless entry. Passive keyless entry is really convenient, because if your vehicle is locked and you have your keys in your pocket or your purse, you'll be able to enter your vehicle without having to take them out. Before we enter the inside, I would just like to point out those beautiful dark chrome running boards as well to help you get in and out of the vehicle. We'll now take a look on the inside of the vehicle. As you can see here, you do have these lovely dark brown and black leather seats for easy cleanup. And I'll just take a look into the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you can see here, you've got green checks the whole way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 13 30 seconds the whole way around. And as for your brake pads, you have 13 30 seconds in the front and 14 30 seconds in the rear. So you have a long ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. We'll continue around the vehicle, now taking a look at the rear occupant seating. Alright, as you can see that lovely easy to clean leather is back here as well. And this vehicle does seat a total of 5 people, but if you have 4 or less, this middle seat does fold down to become an additional armrest with 2 cup holders. You also have 2 cup holders in the middle here, as well as a rear power outlet and rear seat heaters. You do have pockets on the back of those front seats for those rear passengers, and all the doors do have cup holders in them, as well as a few storage compartments and power windows. Coming along now to the side, this vehicle does have mud guards, not only to help prevent mud from splashing up on the side of your vehicle, but also from chipping from any stone chips. I'd also like to point out you do have this hard, tr no tri-fold cover, and we'll continue making your way around here to the back. As you can see, you do have a tow bar already installed on this vehicle for a trailer hitch hookup, and this vehicle also comes with a trailer brake control already installed as well. Those little dots on your bumper are your, your proximity sensors. They'll just let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking. I'd also like to point out you do have a rear backup camera for that exact same purpose, and that over here on the side, you do have a step to help you get up and down your vehicle. I'll just roll that back up there, and we'll take a look now on the inside of the bed. This is a half ton pickup with a five foot seven bed. And as you can see, you've got a lot of space back there and I'll haul some pretty good loads. And this vehicle also has a line bed to keep it nice as well. We'll continue now alongside to the driver's seat. This vehicle does come with two keys for your convenience. And both of them do come with remote start as well. Here inside the driver's door, you do have powered mirrors and powered windows on this vehicle, as well as powered door locks. And as for your driver's seat adjustments, you do have eight-way power seating adjustments, so you can move it forward, backwards, up, down, tilting forward and back, and then two-directional lumbar support. With this vehicle, you also have a telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can move it in, out, and up, down to make sure it fits you properly. And to the left of the steering wheel, you do have your dashboard backlight controls, as well as your headlight controls. The last thing I would like to mention before we get in the vehicle is over here on the door. This vehicle does come with a memory system for your power seating adjustments, which is very useful if there's more than one driver for this vehicle, and that's what these buttons are. Basically, you just set your power seating adjustments as you want for the first time, and from then on, with the push of a button, they'll automatically readjust to how you set them without you needing to constantly readjust them over and over between each driver. I'll now just get in the vehicle and turn it on for you. 
All right, now that the engine's on and the dashboard is lit up, you'll be able to see that this vehicle has about 43,412 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel because over here you do have your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you'll be able to cycle through all of the information and services this vehicle provides. Right underneath that, you do have your volume control buttons as well as your Bluetooth and call controls as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. And then to the right side of the steering wheel are your cruise control settings. We'll now take our attention over here to the center of the vehicle. Here in the center, you do have a lovely LCD touchscreen display with built-in navigation. I'll just put this vehicle in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. And you might also notice right here on the edge of that gear shift is that you do have your tow haul mode available. To the left and right of that LCD display, you do have your radio settings as well as volume controls. And underneath that, you do have your climate control settings. Underneath that, you do have your electronic stability control toggle, which just helps to prevent skidding and sliding, as well as other such features like a heated steering wheel. Below those items, you do have your trailer brake controller adjustment, uh, aux cord plug-in, USB charging port, power outlet, another power outlet over here. This vehicle is push to start, and you do have your four-wheel drive shift right there. A bit farther down, you do have heated seats in the front, some storage compartments, as well as some cup holders. And then here in the center, you do have that main storage compartment with a power outlet down there in the center. And lastly, we'll just be looking up here because that window in the back does open with this button. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. In the last section of this video, we do want to adjust that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, and so we want to make the purchasing process as clear and straightforward as we possibly can. We want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So I have been able to notice several stains there on the ceiling, but other than that, I have not been able to notice anything on the inside of the vehicle. So we'll now make our way to the outside and we'll look for anything out there. You do have a small nick here on that driver door. And we'll continue our way to the front. Here in the front, you do have several nicks, as well as several small stains. Those nicks are very likely from stone chips. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has it. The only way you can really prevent them is just by not driving your vehicle. We'll continue our way along now to the passenger side. Again, you've got several of those nicks. Those mud guards are helping to prevent a lot of those lower nicks though. You do have a crack here in that turn signal indicator on the passenger side mirror. We'll continue around. We've got a scratch there. Now to the back. Typically where there are a lot of nicks and scratches is on the top of the tailgate as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And as you can see, that is the case for this truck as well. You do have several nicks and scratches there on top of the tailgate. And if you look in the bed, you do have a few nicks. Um, you do have several scratches and stains there as well on that liner. Nothing too extreme, but they are there. We continue back to the driver's side. You've got a nick there. A scratch there on the handle. A few scratches around there. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes the video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a half ton red poop pickup with the ability to seat five, a lined bed, a hard to know trifold cover, mud guards, black chrome running boards, four wheel drive, and extra features like trailer brake controllers, front and rear heated seats, and so much more, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, Come and check it out at All Things Automotive, located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA.
or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this pickup and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.